What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another 1-2-8 FUT Draft Challenge. We have got Team 2 of level up cards in packs, in draft, in objectives, and hopefully we're going to be able to use those to our advantage to get the 1-2-8. If you guys are enjoying the content, you want to drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. If you're new here, feel free to hit subscribe. Let's take Lamella. We're going to have four attempts at the draft and hopefully do it. Although, this really hasn't been the best start. Do you want to be able to afford players that you can get in draft? If so, visit U7 Buy to buy your Foot23 coins. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. And make sure to use my code NEP at checkout for 6% off. And with that, guys, let's go and pick up our left wing. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. This is this is not the start we wanted. Even, like, wow. <laughs> Wait. What's happened here, then? How have I got a 92 and a 91 as my first two options and then three gold cards? EA, come on now. All right, we'll take Sissoko. Well, I mean, we already know. We already know this draft genuinely absolutely mudded. Like, one of those kind of like not a hope in hell kind of situations. I saved your... Look at this. Ooh, we have got a level up Kalulu. He only gets a French link. And we've got a level up Chow Enrique. Now, it's not his upgraded version, which is a bit sad because his upgraded version is premium chemistry. But it does show that the level up cards are coming out. Could go with Ramsdale. Could go with Bono. We'll go with Bono. We'll go with the uh, La Liga Sevilla links. We'll go with uh, my mate Mainyan. He's definitely going to be better for chemistry overall once we develop towards Syria and French League. Or just French. This draft is woeful. Now, oh, there's another one. It's Berardi. Now we're going to get to that point, though. Watch, right? Now now what's going to happen... This Berardi looks real cool, by the way. Um, is that we're about to get loads of really high-rated cards that just don't fit the bill. Or maybe we're not. Lucas Paqueta can go in there. We're going to get like... Yeah. Ooh. You know what though? 96 Van Persie actually goes in there nicely, doesn't he? I'll probably put Luke Shaw in for a bit of a... Uh, yeah, nice two chemistry boost. And pop him in instead of a uh, Coman. That's not it, is it? Bowen goes in. 96 Mohamed Salah. Watch, watch. Just four beasts now that don't make sense. Centre forwards and things like the striker, Lionel Messi. Oh, yes, please. 98 rated as well. I didn't even see anything else that was there. I didn't even look. 94 Corona. Wow. Another Sevilla player. Can't obviously put them together. Wow. 95 Bernardo Silva. The rating of this one is, is kind of saved. I knew it would happen. Oh, my days. 97 Aussie men. Yeah, you're killing me out here, man. <laughs> Look at that bench. It's a 92-rated team in the end. Salah, Silva, Aussie men, Corona, all beasts. Van Persie, Messi, the same. That midfield and defense is just atrocious, though. Let's get into the second draft. All right, guys. Attempt number two. We're going to do this one with coins. Brilliant. EA, brilliant. We're going to do this one with coins. If EA want us to get into the draft. I'm going to go with the 4 3 one, two. Lots of good centre mids. Lots of good strikers. We will take David Beckham. I know he only goes in at right back. But still. Striker number one. Boller is nice. Obviously, we're going to have to change that right back. Oh, dear. Abiadini for the uh, Serie A links. Oh dear. 
We'll go Premier League and German. Good op good options. All right, what? Like legitimately what? That's more like it. I mean, it would have been nicer if we got De Bruyne once and then Bellingham the next time rather than both in the same. But 98, level up, KDB is there. And we're going to have to take Xavi. Maybe Goretzka would have been all right, but we're going to take out those low-rated cards. So it doesn't really matter too, too much. The Manja Vidic goes in there, getting plenty of icons. Oh, dear. Another Bundesliga German, mind you. Hmm. Osterman in there as well. De Bruyne has no chemistry. Wow. This this draft is strange. Because we've got three absolute stinkers. We've got a bad chemistry all over the place. And the icons just aren't that high rated. And that's a bit of a pain. Can get a Bundesliga keeper here. We'll go Pain. Not good for the rating, though. Guys, I can't even. Something has changed negatively with drafts. That's all I can say. Oh, Schlotterbeck. Nope. The defenders are good. He's a good upgrade. Mendy. Left back's already there. Schlotterbeck, it shall be. Athketh might have been a decent option as well. But Slotterbeck actually upgrades the team and keeps the chemistry, which is nice. Here we've got oh Robin, which is good if we get rid of the Premier League con contingency. Damn, 95. Leon Goretzka. Yeah, see, now, now we've got a... I'm going to need a right back, a goalkeeper, a striker. There's a striker. It's not as high rated as Pushkas. If we can get a Bundesliga right back and a Bundesliga goalkeeper. I don't mind taking Carver Howe, you know. Gets the Spain link, gets the Portois link. Five picks to go. We've got some options here. Ooh. It's the very good version of Pacho. Nothing else fits there. He goes in there. We don't lose chemistry, but he's obviously just better than having Vidic in there. A Bundesliga right back. How about that? If we could just get a Bundesliga goalkeeper, we've actually got full chemistry here. Is this going to be a massively rated draft? No, it's not. It's 92 already. But it's not what we need, is it? It could have potentially gone for some Real Madrid links in there. That's right, I'm cultured. Oh my days. 95 Dybala. I can't wait for the new game, guys. When we'll have draft and we'll just be able to position change these guys. No questions asked. Just drop him in at like whatever spot I need him. He'll go there. We've got a Bundesliga striker. Did show up. Messi's going to be the guy. The rating here, solid. 93 with Jamal Musiala in there. The chemistry is the only problem. But that is... Do you know what? For how bad that draft started and how awful it looked, that wasn't a terrible draft after all. So let's get into the third attempt. That's not, Yeah, that's not bad. What is that? A one, two, four. That's not bad. All right, guys. Attempt number three. Four, three, three attack is okay, but I really would like a two, one formation. We will start with Akpom, even though he's not ideal. There's a lot of good English players. Oh, dear. And Cam, Cam is an easy role to, to fill in. Riyad Mahrez, 95. Give me this Pele, please. No Pele. I'm going to take uh, the Wuhan three towns Davidson. I know there was a Man City player. Oh, it's 90. I know there was a Man City player at left wing. And maybe I should have taken him now that we've got 99 De Bruyne. But we're going for a 128. We're not going for a 126 or a 125. We're going for a 128. That requires some sacrifice sometimes. Diego can go in there. We need a new cam, a new right wing, a new left wing. Not impossible. Not impossible. Kufal can go in there. Big centre backs only, please. Nice. That's Billy Greta in there. Good Spanish links. 
No, ooh, Geraldo Becker. Doesn't make sense to take him. We're going to take uh, Rafael Varane. I know Rafael Varane. Do you know what? It might have actually taken, making sense, made, made sense. It might have made sense to take Geraldo Becker, and this is why. That that could have been an error, error in judgment there. Becker gives a very good premium chemistry to the Bundesliga. Kostman's in there. Lots of good Bundesliga options in general. Kostman's 95 rated, and Varane has a level up card, so there was potential to get a high rated card. Now we're going to have to commit to the Premier League and take Robertson. And that 92 to 95 rating genuinely makes a big difference. I'm going to go with uh, Melier over Navas. Just way easier to link with the French link. So other than the cam, the left wing and the right wing, we're good for chemistry. We've got a good rating. It's 92 rated with three base gold cards. That's a really good platform to build from. Alex Ramiro goes on to the bench. Javier or Javi Galan. Ooh. Gives us some options for the uh, La Liga guys, that does. We'll take Nuno Mensch. The Sule there as well. Would have been good to go Bundesliga. There's our cam. Jade and Sancho. In you go. Bosch. That's plus three, Ken. We're down to 91 rated now, though. Odegaard doesn't upgrade, so Yaya Torre will go in. Ferran Torres is going to have to be the guy I take here. Because then we can go Ferran Torres, Javi Galan, Alex Romero. And I think we keep chemistry on everyone. I actually think that gives us full chemistry. Let's see. How's uh, how's my logic? Wow, we don't even have to change the goalkeeper. That just gives us full chemistry. 91 raid. Obviously, it'd be nice to upgrade those gold cards out of the team. There's Dennis Biakam back again anyway. I'm on a yay. Big boys only, please. Emerson Royale. The bench is bigger than the starting 11, and that's just that's just not what you want, is it? Here we go. Big player. Come on. It is 92. Roberto Carlos doesn't upgrade the team. Might have been actually made more sense to take Balde there because Roberto Carlos doesn't upgrade the team. Nothing from that. Damn. See what I mean? Like, with these drafts, man, like, it's only 91 rated. Obviously, we've got three common goals in there, but I feel like drafts were better before these level-up cards got put in the game. Let's get a fourth attempt, guys. Hopefully, we get a 2-1 formation. The last attempt for today. Come on. Yes, there we go. All right. The best formation. Even now, with the good wingers, this is still the best formation. And we are going to take 98, Pele. You can't pass up on a 98. I know he goes into that center midfield role. We're going to ignore the striker again at the start here. Come on, 94. Oof, we'll take 93. A rude boy. Come on, 97. Yes, it is. It is 97 Benz. Now we need uh, Real Madrid or French. <whistles> Team of the year, Bellingham. How are we going to link these? Marino goes in. I'm either going to have to change two centre mids or I'm going to have to try and find uh, some chemistry links for Bellingham. 93, Michael Ballack. This draft is huge. This is what we've been waiting for all my days. Let's pick this rating up and figure the chemistry out off the bench. All my days. Do we take 96 Delict? He only gets the one link with Bellingham. Not enough. Do we take Eder Militao? Yes, we do. The La Liga, the Germans, sorry, the Brazilians. We're going to have to take out Bellingham and Pele. But this draft is huge. We will go with Balenciaga. Come on, Team Media Courtois. No chance. That's 91 rated without the striker and with two gold cards. I need some luck. I can't even lie. I need some luck to get the chemistry here. But the, this, this is on the cards. All right, we will take David Sawyer. We kind of need to commit to this La Liga setup now. Take Zinchenko. The left back. You never know. You never know. We've got a German in there. But obviously we lose a lot of chemistry by taking Balenciaga out. Oh, my days. This is going to be the one where we get the rating, guys, and don't get the chemistry. 
Oh, Juan Sebastian Veron. Very, very, very nice. Oh, EA. You're, you're giving it to me. I can feel it. 95 Pushkas. Potential to go into the team. 87 Mendy. That's perfect. That is perfect. So we've got like the full Liga set up here. I need a Liga centre back. And I need a La Liga centre mid. And therefore I need a La Liga striker. Or an icon or something. Oh. This is magic. This is magic. We've got two stinkers. Stinkers on the bench. The 94 rated draft here is inevitable. The 95 is necessary. The chemistry is necessary. I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to take Vinicius Jr. Dybala's actually got a high rated card. It's not a 94 rated draft. That's quite surprising. That should be a 94 rated draft. Wow. That was a massive, massive amount of upgrades for no actual upgrade there. And unfortunately, guys, this chemistry is not coming. That is a bit painful. That is a lot painful. I, I Like, first of all, I can't believe how good that draft started. And how good it is in general. Other than the goalkeeper, every player on that field is insane and the bench is insane. Second of all, I can't believe we didn't manage to like forge some chemistry out of this closer to 33. 28 is not bad. Third of all, how on earth is that not 94 rated? We have got three massive team of the seasons, two team of the years, six massive icons, two massive shapeshifters, and a, just otherwise a good bench. Like... I honestly feel like just swapping an 85 for an 84 on the starting lineup is enough to turn it to an, an, a 94. It's not. I, I can't believe. I can't believe it's not 94 rated. That is genuinely wild to me. But there it is. Guys, the 1, 2, 8. Not even on the cards for today. Not even on the cards. But that draft is insane. That draft is absolutely insane. I don't know how it's not 94 rated. Thank you very much for watching for today. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.